Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an update on my custom hide. This will be the last one until I put it in. So, let's get started. Here is the food bowl, calcium bowl, and water dish thing. What I did was painted it black, about two coats, two or three coats. Then I took a little white and put it all over. Uh, Midnight Geckos, thank you for that idea. And then I took some green and put it in some spots to make it look mossy kind of so i put a lot of green around the water bowl because the more water the more moss there is in nature so that's what i did and it looked really nice well this uh camera sucks in person you can see all the different colors on camera you can't see it. Uh here. Let me try something quick. Yeah, it's just showing the black. One person it looks really nice flow and it looks great. Uh tell me what you think. Okay, I measured all the height and stuff, measured the tank so I see how much space there is for him to move. And I found out there's like two inches, it's like that much to move around. So I had to cut this. I cut it like two inches. And then I had to put a little piece right here so it's not as steep for him to walk up. So I did that. It's a lot steeper now. It used to be really flat and long, like out to here. So that was a pain. I had to rip it off cut this piece, glue it on, and yeah, it took a while. So right now I'm just letting it all air out so it doesn't hurt them. And it's been, this will be like the third day. So, and I don't smell that much pain anymore. So uh, I'm probably gonna put it in tomorrow. But, and here's the hide itself. There it is. That's what it looks like. It's all glued on, all ready to go. Just had to let it air out. Um, got the stairs, got the first high down there. That will be over the heat pad. Then the second level is for the humid hide. Goes in there. Got it all painted, did the same thing I did with the paint with the other thing black and a little white and a little green on the top I think I put a little too much white but it, I like the colors so I'm leaving it um, yeah so that's what it looks like let me open this up in there I only put one coat because it doesn't really matter because the humid height is going to be in there so I just did one coat of black or two coats actually and I put a little white just for the heck of it uh, then I have this thing so he doesn't crawl up behind it and yeah and today I found out that the humid hide was too big so I had to trim this down a little bit make it thinner and then I had to rip the construction paper and I don't have any more construction paper so I had to go to the store and get some and so that's a humid hide, like a little lip. So I dug that in, so it fits on perfectly. And I tested it; it works good. And I'll put a piece of construction paper so I don't have to wait for it to dry again. And let the fumes get out. So that's what it looks like. Tell me, guys, what you think? Put a lot of hard work in this. It took me two to three weeks and there was a lot of things that went wrong with this for example this this ton of painting ton of hours in painting getting all the these cracks that was a pain in the butt uh, so yeah that's what it looks like that will be so I measured it 
and it's about 15 and a half inches with both so which means he has about four inches to move which will be about that much space so that's that's decent maybe even more yeah it's probably like that much which is good it's way better than before it was like that much in between my fingers it was crazy and as you can see, I'm really lazy. I never cleaned up yet. It's been like a week. I'll clean that up when I am put that stuff in, all that. So, yeah, I'm going to have the plants going on the top of this. And I'll have like the little end of the plants hang over here like that. It'll look really nice. Uh, because here the human hide will stick out so the plants will cover that and yeah so all I'm doing is letting the fumes get out so I'm just giving it as much air as possible and this thing just came out let me put that in quick there we go uh oh okay there like that so I'm just getting it as much airflow as I can. So uh, that's what it looks like. Tell me what, tell me what you guys think about it. I think it turned out really nice looking. It looks really cool, and my gecko should like it, and he will be surprised about the big change. So he's probably going to become stressed. So I'm not going to be holding him, so he can get used to his environment again so that's about it uh tell me what you guys think like i said uh, i filled i'll be doing an update video when i put that in so you can see how it looks and i posted a video today already about the reptile contest you have two days left it ends on monday uh and get those entries in if you need more time just tell me comment below or send me a pm and yeah because as of right now i only have three entries and like 10 people told me that they're gonna enter so i don't know what's up with that that was the point of you guys commenting to tell me that you're gonna enter but way more about three-fourths of you didn't so I don't know whatever if I have three entries by Monday I'm probably gonna postpone it uh, give it a couple more weeks hopefully I get more entries because I want at least six six would be good uh, but yeah get those entries in and thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe